Test Drive with Graham Fletcher. This week on Test Drive, we're going to be topless. Fortunately, it's this 1988 RX-7 convertible and not me. This is the first convertible we've tested, and this is also the first rotary engine that we've tested. When we get back to the skid pan, it's going to be interesting to see exactly how well this little unit powers a fairly heavy car. Now that we're on the skid pan, we're going to run the RX-7 through the cones. The old RX-7 was renowned for its reasonable handling, so it'd be interesting to see if the new version lives up to that of the old. Holy smokes. Very tight, very precise. Usually with a convertible, with the lack of the roof, you get a lot of twisting and flexing in the body, but running through there, this didn't exhibit any of that. Now we're going to try the 0 to 100 km an hour time. This will be a little slower than the hardtop version because of all the extra steel they've had to put in to strengthen the body. But let's give it a shot anyway. That beep that you just heard there was telling you to upshift because you've reached the rev limiter. Time again to test the brakes. Although Mazda do offer an anti-lock brake system option on the RX-7, this one is not equipped with it. However, once we reach speed, we're going to throw the anchor out and see what happens and how quickly the four-wheel disc brake system this has stops. We pulled about 28 there, which will be about 110 feet. And given that there's no ABS on the car, that's pretty short. When you chop the roof off a car, you have to make sure that you strengthen the underside of the vehicle quite substantially. If you don't, you end up with a lot of rattles and squeaks where the body twists as it goes over bumps. Mazda seem to have done a good job in this area because this is a very tight car. When I was doing some checking on this vehicle, I noticed most times you can tell whether a vehicle has been well thought out or not just by the simple things. It's not the complexity of the car that makes it. It's the attention to detail. With the RX-7 convertible, Mazda have included a couple of nifty ideas. One is this wind blocker, and what it does is to cut down on the amount of air turbulence in the cabin. The second good idea is a true glass window that includes a defroster. While we're on the subject of the soft top, it's here that you'll find my pet peeve. With the top open, there's plenty of room. When you lower it down, it becomes very tight and almost claustrophobic in here. But when you're driving on a hot summer day, that won't be a problem. Let's now go to the scoreboard and see how I rated the RX-7. The brake system produced some very smooth and short stops, and so I awarded 7 out of 10. The handling of this car is terrific. That and the lack of the body twist make it superb. The rotary engine is exceptionally smooth and loves to rev to the red line. However, I was a little disappointed in the 0 to 100 km per hour time. Ragtops are renowned for their rattles and squeak. This RX-7 is one of the quieter ones around. At 23 miles per gallon, the RX-7 is thirsty. However, the romance of a ragtop, I for one could live with the mileage. 